What's up guys, this is Little Ninja wearing Aviators and Superman hat bringing you another video on the Modern Ninja channel. This time it is the first revamped Fight Like web series episode. And on this episode we're going to be covering Nightwing. He is a fan favorite and we have a lot to get into. So, run that intro. Another time, perhaps. It's good to see you again. Robin? I haven't used that name in a long time. Call me Nightwing. So I know I stated this earlier in when I announced that I was going to be doing these again, but I would just want to make sure you guys are aware. I'm not going into the things <laughs> Nightwing has learned. Uh, and what I mean by that is, I'm not like, yeah, he's learned Judo, he's learned Taekwondo, he's learned Kung Fu, he's learned a bunch of different martial arts, but his fighting style isn't Taekwondo. His fighting style isn't Judo. Uh, in these videos, I'm gonna be going over that character's individual fighting style. So, uh, for example, I've trained in multiple different martial arts. My fighting style isn't any one martial art, it is a mixture of both that is unique to me. And so for every, uh, every fighter, every martial artist, that is the case. They, their experiences, their um, methods of, their, their teachers that they've had, the methods that they have of learning, the experiences that, the experiences that they have gone through, that is what you know, makes their unique fighting style. And so I'm gonna be going over Nightwing's fighting style and some ways you can uh, start to learn it for yourself. Now, there are a couple fundamentals of his fighting style that you would need to know in order to take, um, you know, whatever martial arts you want to train in and make it into his fighting style. And actually, you can take the moves you learn in my Combat for Dummies series and bring them to this and just kind of make it fit this. But anyway, uh, Nightwing relies heavily on kicks. Uh, he often uses punches very rare rarely just to set up for a different power kick, whether it's a roundhouse kick, back spin kick, um, you know, lots of different kick combinations that he has, especially uh, because of his agility. His um, acrobatics and gym gymnastics training has allowed him to be able to have, A, incredibly strong and powerful legs, uh, four incredibly strong and powerful kicks, and it allows him to be able to pull off some of the more wild and crazy looking kicks in order to be still effective and so anyone trying to um you know do become nightwing and have that fighting style train in that fighting style you're going to want to pick a lot of heavy kicking combinations that you work on whether it's you know setting up with your with a basic punch to your heavy kick or maybe even using a kick to set up for a heavier kick. It's that kind of stuff that you're gonna wanna focus on when you're unarmed. And again, if you just wait till the end, I'll have a bunch of different combinations that you can practice at home that will help you get to the point you want to be at. Now, another very big thing to look into when uh, looking at Nightwing, and this is for most of his canon, uh, not comic related fights, but more, um, in the video games and TV shows, um, uh, aura. Cause I'm not counting, I'm not counting the comics simply because there are so many different variations of Nightwing in the comics and you can't really see his flowing motions and how he does things quite as well as you can in TV shows and video games. So I'm using that just in case you were wondering, but, uh, there's a big thing with Nightwing when it comes to blocking. Yes, he blocks uh, sometimes, but there's two big things with blocking and defense that uh, you have to take into, con into consideration when learning Nightwing. Number one is definitely evade over blocking. Nightwing is always one to evade or bob and weave, maybe duck out the way, flip out the way, whatever it is. He evades techniques. He evades other people's attacks before blocking them, which... Uh, you know, it just depends on the type of person. Some people block, some people 
um, use their momentum against, use the other person's momentum against them, stuff like that. But Nightwing consistently chooses to evade and only blocks when he absolutely has to. And tagged along to blocking when he absolutely has to, Nightwing chooses to do strong blocks, stiff blocks, basically taking the impact of someone's hit over being more of a fluid uh, Tai Chi style block, maybe taking their opponents away against them, maybe if they throw a technique leading it into a throw. Yes, I'm sure Nightwing has the ability to do that. I don't doubt Nightwing's ability to throw them, <laughs> to throw people with punches they do. He's done it before. But more often than not, he will A, evade, and B, hard block before he soft block. And that's um, going to be the wording I use from now on, at least in this video for you guys. Hard block is taking it directly, taking a hit directly and stopping it right there. A soft block is taking a hit and guiding it somewhere else so that you can go into a throw or another combination. Uh, there are benefits and negatives to both sides. I'm not going into that today, but I'm just saying he uses that hard block more than the soft block. Now, the last part of his phonics song I'm going to cover is his acrobatics. I know I covered it a little bit earlier, but I just want to rehash it. It is incredibly important for anyone trying to be like Nightwing to learn things like backflips, cartwheels, you know, um, handsprings, front and back. Uh, side flips, all these types of uh, martial arts and gymnastics, um, uh, what's the word, acrobatic <laughs> techniques, I guess. Um, but that is going to be a huge benefit to anyone trying to uh, fight like Nightwing because Nightwing himself as a character relies so heavily on um, those things when he's fighting. He relies heavily on his gymnastic training, which he should. He's, he is, you know, an excellent gymnast. He is arguably the comic's best gymnast, but, or at least the comic's best human gym, human gymnast, not enhanced. Uh, but with that said, anyone trying to fight like him needs to realize that and go out of their way to practice flipping every day, practice their cartwheels, handstands, their balance every day in order to get to the level that Dick Grayson is at. Now this wouldn't be much of a Nightwing video if I didn't include, at least once, Nightwings and Screaming Sticks. Now these obviously are mine, and if you want to know how I wrapped them like this, how I got my grip, uh, if you are interested in that, definitely check out the video I have. I'll put a link in the description below for you guys. But, um, Nightwing is often seen, especially recently, less with his staff and more with his Screaming Sticks. They are um, iconic to the character at this point. Uh, and often have the taser tips at the end. Nightwing it excels a lot in them, and the only time he fights and doesn't throw a ton of kicks, almost all kicks, is when he has those screaming sticks. He's able to um, attack people very quickly and in uh, important parts of their body to put people down very fast. Um, Nightwing is, you know, obviously an expert at martial arts and knows all the pressure points along your body, whether it's, you know, here, 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 all down your legs, all down your sides. <clears throat> Nightwing is um, an expert in the pressure points in your body, and Nightwing uses that with his extreme sticks, especially um, to be able to take lots of quick, lesser powerful strikes and still be able to drop um people much bigger than he is and so uh when you're practicing your escrima your short sticks practice your speed practice your targeting because those are the two things that are going to be most important to learning nightwing's fighting style having that targeting to be able to hit exactly where you want to ha hit exactly when you want to hit it so that you can cause a chain reaction and drop whoever's in front of you so We've covered uh, pretty much all the things I had to talk about. Now it's time to get into the actual techniques for you to learn yourself. Here we go. All right, so the first combination we're gonna go over is a light hand combo setup to two power kicks to finish them off. Now, of course, you can practice this with either leg and either hand front, but uh, I'm just gonna do it on the one side so you can get an idea. Here we go. Gonna start off with one jab, one cross, just to, just to get them off their off their balance. One, two, a quick spin, 
back spin kick. Then you're going to raise that same leg in the air, jump, roundhouse kick. So, all together, you're gonna look like this. One, two, three, four. Now, the next combo we're gonna go over right now is going to be with our short stick or our screaming stick. So, I'm gonna, for this combo, hold them in the middle just like this. It's gonna be a little complicated, but with a little practice, you can get it yourself. It's gonna be starting just like this. One, just, you're going to strike at the head. Your other hand's going to strike at the, the ribs, the, the floating ribs right here, just because they're weak. Head, floating ribs, head, just like that. And you're going to do the same thing. Head, floating ribs, head. So one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Just like that. Of course, you can rewind and go over it if you need to. But the next part of the combination is going to be one, two. So it's going to come head strike around the head, head strike. Now because this is Nightwing, we got to add a little bit of flair. So it's going to be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. You can toss it, catch it upside down, finish. Just like that. One more time, slow. One, two, three, one, two, three, around, catch it upside down. Finish just like that. All the way together is one, two, three, one, two, three, hop, hop, bang. Now, I'm sorry ahead of time for the wind that you're going to hear. I might just decide to record audio over it again, but uh, ideally I won't have to. Sorry ahead of time, there's not really much I can do about it. But our next Nightwing combination will be with our Scream of Sticks. Now, it's going to be going one at the head, two at the ribs three at the head now our back stick is going to sweep under at that leg at their knees bang kick their knees out from under them and then drop them for the finish one more time just like this we're gonna go one at the head two at the ribs three at the head at the knees to, to kick them out from under them and then drop them up the finish now i hope that works for you guys uh i know <laughs> i can't cover every technique that Nightwing can do in one video. It would be way too long, it would be hours long. If uh, you wanna see me do more characters um, in this way, definitely let me know down in the description and send me what you would like me to do. If you want me to do, you know, Red Hood or Black Panther or Captain America, maybe any some someone real life like, um, like Michael J. White, like, uh, <laughs> um, I'm drawing a blank right now Jackie Chan anyone in real life that you would like me to do like that as well you can definitely let me know and I will do my best to get that to you real or fake doesn't matter so until next time don't forget to leave a like to let me know you appreciate this video my name's DJ Moore this is the modern ninja and I'm out